Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dylan again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I want to thank everybody who is watching my videos. Also, the people that have been watching me for a long time. I really want to say that I thank you very much for doing that. And today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be talking about the Apple Store reviewing process and basically tell you what I went through in some of my apps and some of my games. So some of you might be going through that process right now. You're preparing for, you know, releasing a game. You might be working on a game. You might be working on an application and you're planning your release day and you haven't uploaded to Apple just yet. So one of the things that I, that I did in the past that I think I would say make sure that you do avoid is to wait for the very, you know, for the very end to upload your game. So if you're working on a game right now, make sure that you are uploading that to the Apple Store, even though, you know, you're not going to release it yet, you have that control. So if you go to App Store Connect, you're going to see that once your game is uploaded, there is an option to decide, you know, whether you want, uh, you want the game to go automatically to the App Store or you want to set a day, a day where that game is going to go out. So that's what I've been doing recently instead of actually waiting for the very end. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I actually got rejected. Uh, there was a day and time where I wanted to release and what happened is the two days before that, my game got rejected. I was able to make the changes that Apple, Apple required right away. And then the game got approved right after. But you know, from that point forward, I decided I'm never gonna do that again. I'm gonna make sure that I'm uploading to Apple every day even though right now i might be working on a game that is a prototype what i do is i go to the to app store connect i create a game as a placeholder i come up with a random name and then i'm uploading i'm uploading to that app and to that game right away even though it's not going to re get released right away so that's one of the things that i that i would recommend you do is you know create a temporary app in the app store and then upload your game to the app store also, start using test fly to be testing your game, uh, your icon, the screenshots, all the description. Because when you do that and you upload it to the App Store, you can actually download it to test fly and see how it's actually going to look in the marketplace, which will give you, you know, an understanding of how it's going to look like. Like if, if the screenshots look fine, the description looks fine, it's going to give you more of a sense of, you know, what's going to happen on the release day. And you're also going to be able to get feedback from testers, which is something that I really, really recommend that you do right away. So I'm going to give you an example of something that I didn't do that well with one of my games so that you avoid it. You know, if you're doing that right now, make sure that you're thinking about these things. So when I was working on a Stigman World, I, I focused a lot on the, you know, the touch controls. I The game was basically target for for more mobile devices than it was for desktop desktop applications. So, so what I did there is I released the game on iOS. It went out on iOS. Everybody was playing it. It was great. Reviews were great. And, and then I decided to pour the game to, to Mac OS. And, and then right after that, I decided to do it on Steam. So what happened on the on the App Store for Mac OS, I had a, I had a set day that I wanted to release it. I thought things were going to go well. The, you know, I upload the game using Xcode, archive it, it goes out. And then, you know, the, the state of the game changes from waiting for review to in review when the App Store reviewers start reviewing it, they rejected it. And I was, I was a little bit shocked because the game was, was approved on iOS, but why didn't I get approved on macOS? And, and the reason why I didn't get approved is because I left some references to, you know, to touch devices. So on the screen that had to do with, you know, with controls about the game, if you're playing on a desktop application, you expect, you expect that information to resemble, you know, controls on a desktop application, like the up arrow, left arrow, right arrow. And what I was doing is I was actually referencing the touch controls to, to explain the user how to play the game. So Apple, Apple saw it. It got rejected right away. It took me, you know, it didn't take me that long to get it, you know, to make the changes and, uh, and upload it again. But what I found out is that, you know, you imagine if I had to release, if I had a set day for, let's say, two days from today, and you're assuming that your game is going to get approved and then it gets rejected, but you tell the whole world, you tell, you know, publications that it's going to go out on a certain day and all of a sudden it gets rejected. You might be able to get it in by, by doing an expedite, you know, an expedite review from Apple. 
but a lot of times they won't they won't approve you as an expert at review unless you have a big excuse and you know even even having a deadline might not be something that they approve so make sure that you're doing you know you're uploading to apple on a regular basis and you're testing on multiple devices on a regular basis so the other thing that i really wanted to hesitate that is really really important yeah, that you do is let's say that ios comes out with a new version your game is in the app store your application is in mac os or your game is in mac os and today the game works well people are playing it then a new version of ios comes out or a new version of mac os comes out just like it did recently for mac os mojave came out ios 12 came out and people are playing your game and all of a sudden your game crashes or your application crashes so that that is something that happens quite a bit and, and that's something that i tried to and it happened to me before that's something that i try to avoid now and as soon as a beta version of ios 12 you know came out or the mojave came out i'm actually testing my games to make sure that they work well so for example today i'm going through all my mac os apps and updating them to use mac os mojave i'm not changing functionality but i'm making sure that you know they compile fine I archive them fine, I can, I can upload them, and then that the functionality works really well, and that I'm not breaking, you know, that the operating system is not breaking major functionality. So that's something that I, that I actually recommend that you do as well, is as soon as the beta version comes out, make sure that you're testing your game in advance, because if you release today, iOS 11 is out, and then a few days from today, iOS 12 is out, and you didn't test it, your app breaks, that can actually kill your release. So make sure that you do that because that is really, really important. And then lastly, this is something that a lot of people don't do and I didn't do personally, is actually go to the Apple Store and look at the Apple Reviewing Guidelines. These Apple Reviewing Guidelines are very important. They talk about you know, what Apple is looking for, what experience do you, do you, are they looking for you to give the user. So that is very, very important. Don't pretend that you know it all, even though I'm an Apple user. I didn't know a lot of the things that they had included in there, so I will include that information in the description of this video so that you can go in and read it. And if you have any other questions about the Apple reviewing process, let me know. Let me know through the comments. Let me know through social media. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to share this video. And thank you guys again.